Vegas Golden Knights win 3-1 to one against the Edmonton Oilers in what was a fantastic game. Uh, really had that playoff hockey vibe, especially for it being February 7th, my time. Welcome back! It's been too long. Uh, I mean, I made a video a couple days ago, but I mean, since Vegas had hockey players playing hockey because, hey, no All-Stars, no problem. Just goes to show you that hockey is not about having two players. <laughs> Although, Aiden Hill was phenomenal tonight. Let's start there because he allows a goal first. It was a shorthanded goal by Connor McDavid, which was a two on O. And I don't care what goalie you have in net for a two on O against McDavid and Dreisaitl, who executed it perfectly, shorthanded or not, it's going to go into the back of the net. So that's not great. Edmonton starting off one nothing. They're looking to break or tie the all-time NHL win streak set by the Penguins back in 92-93. And so we had a lot of people rooting <laughs> for the Vegas Golden Knights tonight. Probably that, and they also have probably the most hated player in the league on their team for, you know, and Corey Perry too now. Despite starting one nothing, it still felt kind of like an even game. There were a lot of back and forth chances. Edmonton had more of them. Uh, but the Vegas Golden Knights are able to respond. William Carlson sends a shot on that hits the outside of the net that I swore was in, but as soon as I saw the replay, it wasn't. He beat Skinner, but could not get it to the inside of the post, and it goes off and nestles inside the netting, and uh, what I thought was a tie game ended up just being a huge morale booster for the Vegas Golden Knights, because after this, they were on a heater, just a ton better play, and I could tell that T-Mobile was in the game a little bit more, which definitely has a factor. But it is the hottest line in hockey able to kick us off with Marcheseau, Barbashev, and Wa. Barbashev, little stutter step into the zone, gets it to Marcheseau, it gets blocked out, whatever, it goes back to the point to Petro, sends it on, it's blocked or saved, and Nick Wa bangs home a backhanded rebound to tie the game at one. Nick Wa, his 50th career NHL goal, has been on fire. And Barbashev, too, th that line. It's the hottest line in hockey because they're on fire. Second period, and this period, I was clenched for a large portion of it. Where? Don't, don't worry about it. <laughs> what? Fun fact, you can watch my live reaction to it on the PSF app, Pro Sports Fan. We had our first live stream tonight, and it was a good one to start with. Uh, Alex, Steven, and I were able to walk through this game. You can go back and watch some of it, and or watch the next game against the Coyotes. I'm getting ahead of myself. A lot of back and forth chances, and it felt pretty even too. Like, I didn't think that Vegas was getting outmatched until the end by a little bit, but Edmonton was out shooting Vegas like 13 to 4 halfway through, which did not feel right, despite the fact that it was technically right, which is the best way to be right. Speaking of the best way to be right, the Oilers did not technically die the win streak, which is the best kind of right, right? And so it was a really solid performance from Hill the entire 60 minutes. It's a shame that he's not getting nearly as much Vesna consideration at this point in the season as he should be because he has been the best goaltender in the league. And you can't tell, like, competition, what, he just, the only goal he allowed against the 16 win streak Edmonton Oilers and the all-star skills competition winner Connor McDavid and his buddies was a two on O. Oh the only goal he allowed, and a bunch of other chances in which he was so solid and so calm in net the entire time. Seriously, I love this dude. Hold on. Ignore the Sharks logo on this. You can't see it anyway. Don't worry about what this dude for a fourth round pick at 4.9 million for the average annual salary is a steal. Him and Thompson as a tandem is insanely good, especially at just over five and a half million. I, uh, we are so blessed as an organization, obviously because of all the mountainous of success, the, the hill of success that we've had, but just also with goaltending, seriously, oh man. To start the third period, Chandler Stevenson. We're talking about how we could probably let him go after the season to the UFA market and be just fine, especially with the depth pieces coming up. And while I still think that that's technically true, 
He's given us a good reason with that goal of why not. Cotter with the dipsy doodle to get it into the zone towards the net and it doesn't end up becoming anything but because of the, the Paul Cotter with that move that he pulls off really, really well a lot. Is able to get his way into the zone, passes it over to Marsh, so who skates back, sends it back to Stevenson who's waiting and one times this thing perfectly behind Cody CC and past Stuart Skinner to give the big school Knights a 2-1 lead. I'm losing it, Alex is losing it, See, we're all just, you know, yes! And uh, the Vegas Golden Knights have the lead for the first time in the game, and they hold it because they held down the fortress. They just continued the rest of the game, were able to do so well in eliminating chances from the slot, which is the Oilers' bread and butter, because they have the second most in the league despite the fact that they had per game that had that horrible stretch to start the, the season. The, the 16 game win streak kind of evened it out a little bit. Keeping things to the outside, neutralizing McDavid and Dreisaitl, and they still got opportunities, but the opportunities that they did got, this guy held it down. Tyler Cash on Twitter making this meme. King of the Hill, uh, whatever you want to, he's been phenomenal. Aiden Hill for Vesna. So they pull Stuart Skinner, William Carlson has an opportunity. It's blocked from a really good backtrack from Warren Vogel. I'll give him that. That was a really good play to stop it from being an empty net goal. And so Edmonton gets back. They pull Skinner again. And this time, <laughs> William Carlson, who stayed on the ice after this, the stamina of a madman, is able to deke Evan Bouchard out of his skates and score the empty netter to give Vegas the 3-1 win. Just a phenomenal game, the entirety of this game. Vegas gave up a few odd man rushes, more than you'd like to see, especially because that's the style of hockey that Edmonton would like to play, right? But this has been a topic of contention towards the Oilers' 16 game win streak, because obviously, any team winning 16 straight games in the NHL, especially in today's era, that's an incredible feat, sure. I applaud them for that. The teams that they played on route to that 16 game win streak, <laughs> Devils and Rags in the beginning of their streak, the first two wins of that 16 games. The only other team I'd really say, like the Kings have fallen off, the Maple Leafs, I guess, but like the those are the only contending teams to be able to f play against them. And they barely beat some of the bottom dwellers. They won 2-1 against the Blackhawks. So I'm not trying to say that they don't deserve the 16 game win streak because they won the games, sure. They technically won the games, you know, the best kind of right. But how good the Edmonton Oilers actually are that game was a statement from the Vegas Gold Knights and for the Oilers. They want to contend with the best, they've got to beat the best, and they did not. And that is true, technically and in generally. Oh, my heart rate got climbing. I uh, On the stream, it got to 124 when Carlson scored that empty netter. It was fantastic. I loved th this whole opportunity with PSF has been phenomenal. What a way to start it off with this first game. I I'm giving credit to the Oilers the entire time. I'm gonna title this video McFrauds just to make everyone feel like Leon Dreisaitl inside just a little bit pissy because that's all he was the entirety of this game. And see who actually watches this video to the end instead of just commenting right at the beginning how wrong I am. Playoff game in February. You love to see it. Vegas was down. Eichel, Theodore, six total players, and they still were able to hold off defensively against this team. There were a couple of takeaways against McDavid and Dreisaitl from Vegas players. Amadio, like, it was really, really solid. Last season, we rode the All-Star break. We were super hot the rest of the season and carried that through the playoffs. And so, hopefully, we're able to do the same here. But that's going to be it for Game 51's Nightly Review. Thank you so much for watching and have a good night.